You may not be able to catch them all, but you'll definitely catch these feels. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 Pokemon moments that'll make you cry. After 20 and then 30 years, the mansion began to fall apart, but even then I waited. For this list, we'll be talking about some of the most emotional scenes in the Pokemon TV series. Airing for over 20 years, there are tons of great tear-inducing moments in Pokemon. Today, we'll be counting down the ones that made us cry the most. As always, I'm on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which Pokemon moments made you cry. Number 10, Charmander in the Rain. Charmander the Stray Pokemon. A Charmander! As one of the most iconic creatures from the games, Charmander was always bound to have a big role in the TV series. It is waiting for its master, who abandoned it. This immediately fills us with pity, but the truly heartbreaking moment comes later. Ash and friends see Charmander out in the rain, still waiting, even though the water will kill it if its flame goes out. Watching Ash try to convince the Pokemon to come in and seeing it refuse is sad because of how committed Charmander is. Knowing that Charmander eventually joins Ash is the silver lining. Come on, Charmander, welcome to the group. Char! Char! Number 9 Ninetales waits, just waiting on a friend. Well, then, you may leave. Go! Huh? huh? But what about. In one of the stranger episodes of the Pokemon series, Ash and company become trapped in a haunted house. There they encounter a Ninetales who refuses to let them leave and wants Brock to be its new trainer. They soon find out the Pokemon is waiting for its master who died long ago. The owner wrote this 200 years ago! Wait, th that would mean this guy is... Yeah. And if Lococo and Ninetales have been waiting for him to come back all this time... This is a strange but mournful moment in the show that highlights the deep connection between Pokemon and their trainers. Ninetales may be misunderstood in the episode, but its loyalty to its trainer is clear and makes us weepy. Thank you all. Goodbye. Number 8. The Contest Winner Win, lose, or drew. Hey, May, if you're gonna attack, do it! You to fly, you string shot! A great aspect of Ash's travels in Hoenn was being able to see his companion, May, compete her own way to become a better trainer. May had worked so hard to get to the contest finals, and even though she almost wins, in the end, she loses. This was a great dramatic point in the show that teaches viewers about dealing with loss. Seeing Mei break down after the fight is hard to watch, but also great to see her react so realistically. <laughs> I feel awful! It's okay. Seeing how her friends comfort her is reassuring and makes us tear up every time. Never thought how hard it would be to lose! It hurts, Mei. It hurts a lot. Number 7, Changing the Past. Time Warp heals all wounds. If that story don't break your heart, then not well! Pokemon is known for having some otherworldly plot devices in it, and this episode is a great example. After hearing about the tragic story of a girl's grandfather passing away in an accident before her grandmother could see him again, Mei and Meowth are transported back in time and try to change the past. In the process, they save the girl's grandfather from dying and find out the entire town is better off afterwards. This moment is hugely emotional and makes us feel both sadness and happiness because being reunited with a previously deceased relative is something we all wish for. Yes, and was able to tell him the truth. Who would have thought telling the truth could be a good thing? Number 6, Rocketing Away, A Poached Ego. All right, guys, out of the cage, quick! Although Team Rocket are always trying to steal Ash's Pikachu, they have become more than just villains in the show. 
Throughout the series, we have grown closer to them and understood them as characters more. In this saddening moment, Jesse and James force their Arbok and Weezing to flee from a poacher and join wild Pokemon. Now go! We're able to take care of ourselves! So you guys get out of here and don't you look back! Yo, yo! Weezing! Clearly upset by this, the Pokemon reluctantly leave as Team Rocket desperately tries to hold the poacher and his powerful Pokemon off. The expressions of Arbok and Weezing as they leave are enough to make anyone cry. Number 5. Meowth Learns to Talk Go West, Young Meowth Under the evening sky with the moon high up above I'll learn to speak human Cause this cat's got puppy love Meowth has always been a rarity in the series because he is one of the few Pokemon that can speak the same language as humans. In this episode, we find out that he learned to talk for love. Meowth has always seemed to have a deeper characterization than just being a bad guy, and it's great to see that explored. If I wanted her, I had to make myself a human! It's odd not to relate to him even just a little bit after seeing what he has gone through. Sadly, seeing him get turned down at the end makes things all the sadder. Hang in there, Meowth. Well, maybe Meowsy's looking at the moon too. Hmm. Number four, Butterfreed. Bye bye, Butterfree. Well, I guess you have to leave us now, don't you? They have to cross the ocean to start their new family. This scene is known for its tear jerking parting between Ash and his Butterfree. Being the first Pokemon Ash caught in the wild, the two had a special connection. The moment is a great blend of music, visuals, and heightened feelings from the characters. Bye Bye Butterfree showed the audience that not all of Ash's Pokemon were going to stay with him forever. Don't worry, I'll just tell all the other Pokemon that you're on a trip, and you'll come back someday maybe. Honey. It also set out how Pokemon could deal with mature themes like separation and how friends may leave each other but still care. Ash wishing Butterfree well is the perfect bittersweet moment. Have a good trip, Butterfree! Oh, Take care friend. of yourself! You Goodbye, you Butterfree! Number three, parting ways. Gotta catch you later. Just keep on doing your best. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know without me there. Even though she hasn't been a main character on the Pokemon TV show for over a decade, Misty is still remembered as one of its most iconic characters. Her relationship with Ash was funny, difficult, and endearing. So when she and Ash finally part ways, the audience really feels it and it's hard not to get emotional. During a montage of all their moments together, we really get to see how far they've come and how they have affected each other's lives. I guess you guys should go now. Uh, okay, take care. We'll miss you. Although Brock also ends up leaving temporarily as well, beyond anything else, this is just a great, wholesome moment that shows the power of friendship. Thank you. Number 2, Litten and Stoutland. One journey ends, another begins. Stoutland. In a more recent episode, Pokemon dealt with a topic it had often shied away from in recent years, death. Ash follows a Litten that he gave food to and finds that it has been feeding an elderly Stoutland. Over the course of the episode, the Stoutland eventually passes away, and Litten's reaction to losing its friend is very upsetting. <laughs> As Litten stands in the rain, calling out for its friend, it's easy to see why this makes most viewers cry. A beautiful moment about friendship and dealing with loss, this episode will long be remembered. <laughs> yeah. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Pikachu leaves Ash. Pikachu's goodbye. All of these Pikachu here in the forest need you. So just goodbye. The bond between Ash and Pikachu is one of the most beloved aspects of the TV series. In this season one episode, Pikachu finds a group of wild Pikachu and Ash, thinking it would make Pikachu happier, makes Pikachu stay with them. As Ash walks away from his Pokemon, we see a tear-jerking montage of all the great moments the two have shared. The time has come. It's for the best I know it. This scene is a great example of the bond between trainer and Pokemon, and also the drama between characters that fans love so much. Knowing that Pikachu and Ash are quickly reunited doesn't make us any less watery-eyed when we watch it. <laughs> So which of these moments tugged at your heartstrings the most? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe follow this guy on Twitter at AshJBow, check out this other video, and subscribe to Watch Mojo.